Hi there, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the user interface of Weebly. So the purpose of this video is just to give you a quick walkthrough of how Weebly works and what you expect to see. Um, if you want a more detailed uh, discussion on the top three pros and cons, uh, design options, uh, support, SEO, and just about anything important about um, your decision-making process of whether or not to use Weebly, we have a much more detailed discussion directly below this video. So when you first sign up for a Weebly account, all you need is an email address. You don't need to provide any credit card information. Once you sign in, this is basically what you will see. It's very simple layout, which is very minimalistic, but very functional. These are all the tools, what they call elements, which are the basic building blocks of your website. And over here on the left, you get the basic elements. You have multimedia, which includes galleries and slideshows and YouTube videos, etc. Down in the revenue block here, you're going to see some e-commerce features. And we talk about e-commerce features in our thorough review below. Under more, you have other options such as implementing online polls, buttons, contact forms so people can reach out to you, and even social icon elements. So the interface is actually very easy to use, which is one of the best features of Weebly. It looks very simple, but it's very, very powerful. When you come down to the actual web page right here, you can see I've inserted some elements in here already, including an image, text, and a small little gallery. What you do is, if you want to keep building out a page, you just simply drag and drop any of these elements up here, down here. So if we want to insert a title, for example, just drag title and just type in your title or whatever text you want. One of the really cool things about this interface is that if you highlight the text, it allows you to edit the text style, such as bolding it, italicizing it, or changing the color, etc. So it's really handy. Using the same principle, you can pretty much drag any of these elements down to your page and keep building out this page. So what if you want to add more pages to your layout? Come to the Pages tab right here and you can see the existing pages I've already added into this website. Just click on Add Page to add a new page and give it a name. I'm just going to call it Brand New Page, just for illustration. And if you want to create sub-pages below each of these pages, Weebly makes it very easy for you to do so. Just click on any one of these and pull it out. Now the articles page becomes a sub-page of media. And I can have a sub-sub-page such as moving products under articles. So just to see what it looks like now, I'm just going to click Save Settings. Coming back to the main page, I can see under media, there's articles and then products. So that's how easy it is. As for design options, we have a much more detailed discussion below. But just to give you a quick overview, click on the design tab right here. And you can see a whole range of available templates for you to install. To get a better view, click on all themes and click all themes right here and you can see a very broad range of Weebly templates. Weebly has been increasing the number of templates in their library consistently over the past while, so they're definitely improving the designs. If you want to choose a specific theme for your purpose, you can click on business, education, etc. to find a suitable theme for yourself. Another very powerful feature is if you click on editors here, you can invite other people to come in to edit your website and you can set limitations as to what they can do. They can have full access to editing everything or you can limit the number of pages they can actually access, which is very handy. In the settings here, you just insert your basic setting information, some tools on SEO, which we discussed more thoroughly below in our review, e-commerce settings, etc. And those are the bare basics of how to build your website, which is really neat. 
One last thing I want to mention is page layouts. What Weebly has done is allow you to classify each one of your web pages with a different layout. So on this specific page, you see a tall header image right here. If you click on this little button on the right hand top corner, you can configure this page to have a different layout, such as a short header, a landing page, or don't have a header at all. So if I want a smaller header, I just click on this, and you can see instantaneously the header image shortens. If I want a landing page, and there it is, and I can click into any of these and insert my own text. And this is a very flexible tool which allows you to have a very different appearance on each unique page. And last but not least, social icons. Click into it and insert your own social network address and you're good to go. So this is just a high level overview of how the website works. Right below this video, we're going to have a very comprehensive evaluation of Weebly.com. Be sure to read through it so you know if Weebly.com is a good fit for you and the purpose of why you're building a website. We've also included a comprehensive library of tutorials which will show you how to use most of the important tools in Weebly.